first to the case of Melbourne real estate agent Matthew Scafidi and how he's had his career destroyed by the cancel culture Twitter mob and apologists for China, not to mention by Chinese gold. It's a very disturbing story. Scafidi has been a very successful real estate agent. He's in fact, the Real Estate Institute of Victoria's Residential Salesperson of the Year. And has also donated local charities and clubs. But his big mistake now, supposedly, was to look around for some gym equipment and post this question on Facebook about some that he was considering buying. No Australia-made logo on this one, Ken. I assume on this and the price that it's a Chinese import, wanting to avoid Chinese-made products if I can. Now, no one reading that could know exactly why Scafidi wanted to avoid buying a Chinese-made gym product, but I can sure think of plenty of good reasons. For one, China's attacking us. Cyber attacks, threats of war, trade bans. In fact, yes, its communist dictator has banned China from buying a lot of our things because we won't shut up about freedom. So if it if Chinese are being banned from buying our stuff, why can't we ban ourselves from buying it? And let's be blunt, the money we send to China could help it buy rockets that are one day aimed at us. But I'm guessing here, I don't know for sure why Matthew Scafidi wanted to buy Australian-made stuff instead. Nor could anyone on Twitter know either. But these days, who cares about the truth? Not when you've got the chance to prove you're good by being vicious, by calling someone a racist and smearing and destroying them. And indeed, Scafidi was smashed by Twitter warriors as a racist. His online profile was bombarded with negative reviews and abuse. His company, Jealous Craig, was abused. And Jealous Craig folded. He threw out Scafidi. Goodbye. Treat him like disgusting trash, with the CEO saying, I think the comment is appalling, it's unacceptable, and it goes completely against the grain of what Jealous Craig is. You've got to ask, what is Jealous Craig then? What is this grain it talks about, this thing that Jealous Craig is all about? Well, it seems to me it's about throwing people under a bus if there's money in it, like money from China. Yeah, because I think it's just a hunch that Matthew Scafidi was getting in the way of Jealous Craig making money by buying property in Australia for Chinese buyers. They don't seem to want to buy Chinese either, by the way. Are they racist too? Jealous Craig even has a dedicated sales and marketing team just for buyers in China. So what a sad story this is, right? An Australian can't now say he'd rather buy Australian than Chinese, even pay more money for Australian goods than Chinese, without being branded a racist, without his reputation being ruined, without his bosses selling him out. But there's one other factor here, just to make this story even more sinister. China, we know from our security chiefs, is very active in cyber war and in intimidating its critics right here in our country. So I ask, how many of these cyber warriors that have been attacking the websites of Jealous Craig and Matthew Scafidi were actually apologists of the dictatorship or something more? That's a worry. And if Matthew Scafidi is saying that he'd rather buy Chinese, uh, Australian goods than Chinese ones, if that's racist, doesn't that in fact make this symbol this trade symbol, the most racist in Australia. By Australia? Well, can't have that anymore, can we? It's racist. Let's better buy Chinese instead.